Hello, it is Hoovy and Monday. Today I will be talking about Robot of Sherwood, the third episode of Series 8 of Doctor Who. Insert the traditional spoiler warning to not watch this if you haven't seen the episode here. The story starts with the Doctor and Clara in the TARDIS. The Doctor says he will take Clara anywhere she wants to go. She wants to go and visit Robin Hood, who is one of her childhood heroes. He has been a big influence on her in her life. The Doctor says she might be disappointed because Robin Hood is a made-up story. But he eventually agrees to take her to Sherwood Forest in 1190 AD-ish. He leaves the TARDIS and immediately bumps into Robin Hood. Clara leaves the TARDIS dressed in amazing period-appropriate attire and is very excited by the presence of Robin Hood. Robin wants to steal the magic box from the Doctor and they fight Robin with a sword and the Doctor with a spoon. Elsewhere, an elderly gentleman called Quail is trying to prevent the Sheriff from taking his ward. The Sheriff is dragging peasants up to the castle to work. The Sheriff kills Quail and then drags his ward off to the castle. Clara and the Doctor meet the Merry Men. The Doctor is trying to prove that they're not real. I enjoyed the Merry Men in this episode. They were definitely very merry. I don't think we saw quite enough of them, but they were good. Robin tells Clara about his past and about how he has lost Maid Marian, and he is a little confused as to how Clara knows so much about him. Robin goes to an archery contest held at the castle where the prize is a golden arrow. He knows it is a trap set by the sheriff, but he goes anyway. Robin and the sheriff are the last men standing in the contest. Robin wins by splitting the arrow, but then the doctor appears and splits his arrow. Then follows a slightly ridiculous contest of one-upmanship between the doctor and Robin, which ends when the doctor blows up the target. A fight ensues, after the sheriff asks his knights to seize the doctor, during which a knight's arm is cut off and the doctor discovers that the knights are robots. The merry men flee, but the doctor gets himself, Clara and Robin Hood captured. In the dungeons, Robin Hood and the doctor are arguing. Clara tells them to stop and then is taken away to be interrogated by the sheriff because she is obviously the ringleader of the gang. I love this scene. I thought it was very funny and the interplay between the three characters was great. Clara discovers that a skyship landed on Earth and that the robot knights took the sheriff for their leader. The Doctor and Robin finally escape and discover the data banks of the spaceship. It turns out that the spaceship is disguised as the castle. It has hidden in plain sight, ergo the robot knights. The Doctor also discovers that the ship is aware of the legend of Robin Hood and decides that this is evidence that Robin Hood is part of their plans. The knights and the sheriff appear with Clara. Robin and Clara escape by jumping out the window. The Doctor deduces that the knights are making a matrix of gold to repair their spaceship Ship, but he tells the sheriff that there has been too much damage and that all that will happen is that the ship will explode and wipe out half the country. He's knocked out and wakes up in the bowels of the castle where Quayle's ward is working. The doctor uses her help and the help of the other peasants to defeat the robots by deflecting their beams using plates. It's, it's very, very high tech. The peasants escape. Oh, meanwhile, Robin has been asking Clara about himself and the doctor. The sheriff appears again. The doctor tells him to shut down his ship again. The sheriff says Robin isn't part of his plans. Right on cue, Robin and Clara appear to save the doctor. Robin and the sheriff fight and Robin defeats the sheriff. This scene had actually been changed in the last week due to um, a certain similarity to recent events in the original edit. In the new version, it is alluded to that the sheriff is not entirely human but is part robot. So he is the robot of Sherwood. I quite like how the scene has ended up being. I have read how it was originally and what they changed. I don't mind so much that it's a bit more up in the air. Anyway, the Doctor, Clara and Robin escape and meet up with the Merry Men. The spaceship takes off. The Doctor says there is not enough gold to take the ship off into orbit, so the three of them together shoot the golden arrow into the ship so that they will have just enough gold to take it out of harm's way before it explodes. Then the Doctor and Clara leave, and I think this was my favourite scene of the episode. Robin is okay with being a legend in the future and with not being remembered as a real man. History is a burden. Stories make us fly. There's this lovely little bit about them not actually being heroes, but if they continue pretending to be heroes, maybe other people will be heroes in their name. And then the Doctor and Clara leave Robin a present, who is Maid Marian, who is Quail's ward, and turns out to have been in the episode the whole time. So there we go, quick synopsis there. I love this episode. It was my favourite episode of the series so far. I think it's my favourite Mark Gatiss episode ever. It was just my cup of tea. It was funny and charming and 
fun to watch and it just made me smile. I have a lot of time for Tom Riley who is playing Robin. He's one of those actors where I will watch things just because he is in them. He's an actor I really enjoy watching. I thought he played a really good version of the character. I loved the banter between him and Capaldi and I found his Robin Hood laugh to be completely hilarious. I also love Ben Miller who played the sheriff. I thought he did really well in the part as well. He's a very good comic actor. This was a good episode for me guest star wise. If by any chance you haven't seen Tom Riley or Ben Miller in anything before then I recommend you seek them out because both of them have great bodies of work. I thought Peter Capaldi was really funny this episode. I loved his dislike of Robin Hood and the bickering and banter between those two men in that episode was one of my favourite things. I think Jenna Coleman is going from strength to strength. She's an amazing actor and I think that Clara is really coming into her own this series. One of my favourite things about this episode was that it stood alone but yet it also had some interesting things to say and there were plenty of things to think about if you wanted to. For instance the continued presence of the promised land, some more lost robots, this is becoming a theme, the importance of stories, the importance of heroes and the possibility that Clara might travel with the Doctor because of her love of Robin Hood and how he is her own personal Robin Hood type figure. I found that to be interesting the comparison between Robin Hood and the Doctor and Clara comparing Robin Hood and the Doctor. So what did you think of this episode? Did you like it as much as I did? What did you think about Robin Hood in the story and about how he turned out to be real? The next episode, episode 4, is Listen. It is written by Stephen Moffat and directed by Douglas McKinnon. I'm gonna read the synopsis. What happens when the Doctor is alone, pacing the TARDIS by candlelight, poking the shadows with a stick, listening for a footfall among all those endless empty rooms? What scares the grand old man of time and space? What horrors lurk under his bed? Ghosts of the past and future crowd into the lives of the Doctor and Clara, a terrified caretaker in a children's home, the last man standing in the universe, and a little boy who doesn't want to join the army. I think this synopsis is slightly ambiguous. But the next time at the end of Robot of Sherwood made it look great. It looks like it's going to be super creepy. It features the return of Sam Anderson as Danny Pink. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you have a good day. Do let me know what you thought about the episode in the comments below. And see you tomorrow.